Tonight, President-elect Joe Biden's grim warning pushing for Congress to approve that $900 billion relief bill. And Mary Bruce asking the president-elect, has he talked to the top Republican leader in Congress to get this done? With millions of Americans in desperate need and the president focused instead on refighting the election, Joe Biden today stepping in to implore Congress to come together and pass a badly needed COVID relief bill. Early today, the November jobs report was released and uh, it was grim, but it doesn't have to stay that way. The president-elect is urging Democrats and Republicans to back a new $900 billion compromise, calling it an urgent and critical first step. The folks I'm talking about, the folks out there aren't looking for a handout. They just need help. They're in trouble through no fault of their own. The bill includes $300 in weekly federal unemployment benefits for roughly four months, $160 billion in state and local aid, and $288 billion to support small businesses. Nicole Whitesell owns a small boutique in Portland, Oregon. She says she's already lost $350,000 during the pandemic. Now she fears she may lose everything. For me, my reality is, like, if we don't make it through this, like, what will I what will I do next, you know, and how will I provide for my family and for my kids? Tonight on Capitol Hill, there is optimism, but Biden describes the compromise as just a down payment, saying he will push Congress to do even more. But this bill is already more than Republican leaders want to spend. What if this isn't a down payment? What if this bill is it? I never start off thinking that way. I always start off believing we can get it done. We'll get it done. But it's been more than six months this fight has been going on. What makes you so confident that you will be able to get Republicans to go big once you're in office? Well, because the country's going to be in dire, dire, dire straits if they don't. Have you reached out to Leader McConnell? Have the two of you spoken yet? We'll be in dire trouble if we don't get cooperation. I believe we will. That's not a no. Leader McConnell's office is also refusing to say if the two have talked. Mary Bruce with us live tonight. That was an interesting moment today, Mary. I, I know Americans know we're in a very polarized time when it comes to politics in this country, but they're going to wonder why won't President-elect Biden and Leader McConnell simply come out and say whether or not they've talked. It might be a sign that there could be some bipartisan work moving forward. Uh, and, and President Trump, on that front, did we hear from him at all today about this COVID relief plan? Well, David, we have not heard from Trump yet on this today. He just keeps tweeting about the election, but he has put Republicans in a bit of a box here. They don't want to publicly break with the president. And since he has yet to admit that Biden won, it really puts Republicans in a tricky position as they may try to get to work with Biden and his team. David. Which likely explains why they won't say whether they've talked. Mary Bruce tonight. Mary, thanks. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.